Well hello, welcome to another episode of Jim's Love and Garden. Okay, so this is the lid window. Um, these are the these are the mechanisms here, which are going to sort of hold it in place, and that's pretty much how wide it's going to be. So what I'm going to do now is um, the next step, and I'll show you in a moment when I've uh, uh, put it up there. But this this is just the offcut from from this piece here, and basically what I'm going to do is bolt this on to the back of here, like that, obviously with a with a length the right length, and then just drill. That's that's going to be bolted onto this piece. Um, and then I'm going to drill some holes in here so it, it aligns with this groove here and then it'll basically be bolted into place here so you know, I just obviously I've just put the piece of glass in there so you can see the sort of the spacing of how much I've got either side um, so it will fit in there quite nicely so basically this this mechanism here will basically sit um, sort of in in kind of position kind of like that um, and then obviously the the, uh, the window, uh, is that right? Yes. Um, so basically the window will sit like that. So this is this is actually the other side. This actually sits like that, on this side like that. So that'll sit in the framework like that, with a piece of a piece of angle iron, this sort of aluminium, sort of in there like kind of. So hang on, this is hard to do with one hand again. So that'll sit kind of like that. So that, that those two pieces will be bolted together, and then that'll sit in there, kind of like that. And then they'll be bolted through that piece into the framework to hold it in place. And then obviously the pieces of glass will will sort of go in there. Now, obviously at the bottom, this 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 piece of glass, will, when it's when it's closed, um, will sit um, sort of like that. So as you can see, the glass ends up being there. So what I'll also need to do obviously this piece of glass is shut on it, is I also need another piece of this which will go across um, in there like that um, so that when the when the window shut it shuts down onto a piece of, of aluminium underneath it that will allow the glass to go sort of down as well so I could potentially put this piece in like that um, so obviously all, all I need to do is cut a piece which aligns with, with, with that edge there like that and then obviously this piece isn't quite long enough but the piece it'll go to kind of there drill two holes in exactly the same way as I did for these and then that, that piece will bolt in cut a slot out of there and then that, that piece will sort of sit in there and then the glass will shut into um, this piece when it's on so there'll be a piece at the piece at the the bottom and then also going along the top there'll also be a piece along the top and then I'll just put a, um, a piece of or the glass or aluminium in the top corner there to finish it off just like that one is there um, so the basically in that space there there'll be um, the opening window so all I need to do is obviously on, on this side here you can see the I'll just take this apart hang on so those are the four pieces of glass there I need to wash those um, this is the this is the actual opening mechanism in there so this will sit um, this will sit like that on this side and then to open it I basically just pull that pull that lever there down and then it obviously opens like that and then I can just push it up uh, to shut it again so that needs to be bolted in at that side and then the other one there needs to be bolted in at this side um, at the right space so that the glass sits in it obviously um, so basically I think it, it needs to be sitting something like uh, about a quarter of an inch away from the frame like that 
so there's a bit of a gap in there but obviously that'll be that'll be contained by the uh, the piece of aluminium which kind of goes in here and then I need a piece across the bottom for the glass to shut onto and then a piece across the top for the glass to shut onto and also to, to house the uh, the piece of either glass or um, aluminium that'll go into the top. Okay then so what I've done is I've made the um, the two um, side pieces for the for the uh, the louvered window. Now basically all I've done I'll just show you these pieces here. Obviously I've got these um, these two pieces here, which are the effectively the mechanism that sort of goes to the kind of that line there. And all I've done is obviously I need to attach that as I explained to the framework with this piece of aluminium here. But because of the because of the width of that part there, what I've done is I've bolted in um, a piece of plate there. So the the mechanism has bolted through in a number of places. Um, there's one. There's, there's there's three bolts. One there that doesn't go all the way through because of the because of it hitting the uh, the mechanism, um, another two down there, and then obviously two on this side as well. Um, and basically, all I've done is I've got um, a length of this, um, which basically sits behind the two. So that's that's first bolted onto the uh, the mechanism, and then with a piece of the the angle that I showed you yesterday, that's bolted in there. So it'll it'll ena enable me to bolt it onto the um, um, onto the framework. So. Uh, I've also um, cleaned all the glass, that's all ready to go, so I've got four um, sheets of glass there to go into it. So if I can just show you where this will actually go then, on the uh, the greenhouse. So obviously we bolted in the bottom bar there, so that'll that'll form the bottom part. And then this, this is going to basically sit um, in there like that, and then I'm obviously going to drill some holes through here and bolt that onto um, this, this framework here. Now, I do need to... I do need to trim um, a triangle out of the top there um, so it doesn't um, foul um, this, this bit of framework here but I thought what I'd do is offer it up. I'm not quite sure where you know where sort of this way it'll need to go so what I'm going to do is put two pieces of glass in one piece of glass in the top and one piece of glass in the bottom and then put both sides in with the glass and then I'll be able to central it um, then just quickly hold it in and then I'll be able to mark where the um, where the line is where it'll bolt into here. Then I'm just going to drill a hole in the middle and at the top and at the bottom so there'll be three bolts either side um, holding, the, uh, holding the, uh, the assembly in place. So what I'll do is I'll just put the glass in now, put it in place and then just, just temporarily hold it in with some mole grips and then I'll show you what it looks like um, in place. Okay, so that's the mechanism in place. It's just held in with these uh, mole grips at the moment. So as you can see, what you need to do is make sure that the mechanism will move freely. And you don't want to make this too tight. Obviously, there's some give here and here with the pieces of glass. So you don't want to make this sort of really tight. So what I've done is I've aligned it up with the, with the framework like that, made sure it's equal on both sides like that. Then all I need to do then is by judging from that bolt at the top there, the hole needs to go sort of in alignment with that mark there. Um, likewise on this side you can see the bolt at the top there which is obviously aligned with the bit underneath. Um, I need uh, the holes to be um, that far away from the edge on this side as well. And obviously the other thing I need to do is to cut through um, this piece here. So what I need to do is mark here so there's going to be a line cut out there. Um, which obviously aligns with the framework there, so I need to cut that section out there so it sits flat against here and doesn't fail this part. Likewise on this side, I just need to eye up like that, also I'm doing this left-handedly. Uh, I need to cut out kind of that section there, so again it'll sit flat on the frame. So what it needs to do is just make sure you've got the line going all the way down like that. And if anything, what you want to do is give yourself a bit of, a bit of give, don't make it that tight that uh, you know there's, there's, there's almost no tolerance in it because the glass the glass should be able to freely move backwards and forwards like that so you know you don't snag anything so as soon as you've got them two measurements you can take this back out as you can tell it's quite a windy day today you can see the thing spinning out so I don't want this to be in the frame for too long so all I'm going to do now is um, cut those off, drill the holes one at the bottom here one in the middle and then one at the top same on this side here and then put all the glass together obviously the middle two that are missing at the moment in as well 
put it in the frame and then with the uh, the bolts bolt it in and then that's the uh, the window um, sort of in place. What I then need to do is make like a little um, thing at the bottom obviously when it's when it's open it'll be like that when it's closed there'll, there'll be this gap here so what I need is a piece in here just to sort of butt up against the bottom of it and that'll just be a bit of angle um, going down onto this piece here and then at the top I'll need a, a piece of angle going across uh, into these holes here and here just so that when when the uh, when it's open it'll go like that so I need the angle to go sort of this way if you like so the, there's, there's like a flat piece along the back of it um, and then we should be good to go and then all I need to do then is just fill out this top piece with a fixed piece of triangular glass and then fill out the bottom bit with um, standard um, two foot wide glass. Okay so that's the window in place as you can see what I've done is I've drilled as I, as I explained um, a hole at the bottom there, a um, hole in the middle and a hole at the, at the top obviously equal distance in um, from the side there. I've cut the top corner off there uh, the top corner off there and again three bolts down here so as you can see I don't know if you can see in there I've pushed that piece of glass right the way to the end on there and I've got about five millimeters or so um, free space so the glass can move backwards and forwards and that's important so if the frame ever did flex um, or you know you're not going to you know sort of catch the glass if you like so all the pieces of glass in now and as you can see it'll open like that for the summer um, and then as I just push that up there that'll that'll shut it and lock it so that's basically the uh, the window in as I as I explained what I need to do now is to put a um, strip along the bottom here um, so when it's obviously when it's when it's open it'll go away from me when it comes in it's going to shut against there so what I need is a strip along there to basically seal that against the um, um, the window there so what I'll do with that is basically with a with a piece of um, smaller than this but a piece of angle um, aluminium in there and I'll just either pop rivet it down onto this one or, or bolt it through onto there and then at the top obviously the top's going to come inwards like that when it opens so what I need is a piece of angle kind of facing like sort of that way if you like so that when it's when it's shut like that it'll seal against that piece of aluminium basically the opposite at the top to what we've got at the bottom but that fundamentally is how to fit in um, a louvered window in the back of a greenhouse. Now, this this window was not out of a greenhouse. This was out of a normal sort of house window. So these are um, basically straight out of a you know a normal window, not an aluminium greenhouse. Um, and all I've done, as I explained, was basically built up this sort of bracket arrangement here to fit it in. Obviously, what you might need to do is cut down the glass slightly. But I've got a louvered window in the back now, and so far, basically, that's cost me nothing. Okay, so now that we've got the uh, the window, what we need to do is basically close off the top and give it a, um, something to close against. And then also we need to do exactly the same at the top. We need to finish that off and give it something to close against. Um, so, what I've done is I've fashioned um, this piece here. And all it is, it's just a length of the, um, the same aluminium that we use for here. So it's just like an inch and a quarter angle aluminium. And what I've done is by, by offering up to the, uh, the framework on this side, um, here and of course at the other side here um, what I've basically done is made this part now the this is basically going to bolt in um, to the framework like that now what I need to do the reason I've done this is the um, obviously the top of the, um, the, the the opening mechanism here and here is, is, is open to the elements at the moment what I need to do is to protect it I need to close that off and I need to do something similar at the bottom as well which I'll get onto in a moment so what I've done is I've basically made this piece which fits in there like that and I'll see in there and then this is going to bolt through that hole there and that hole there which is an existing hole in the frame I've just made a, a corresponding hole in this piece that I've made and what I've done is I've basically taken a length of, a length of the angle aluminium which is the same as this and the same as the I pulled up the sides as well, and cut it cut it to length. So it's basically the distance from the edge of that piece there and that piece in there. Then slotted it in place, and I could work out that I needed to take off that corner there and that corner there, so it would fit in nicely. Then obviously just by holding it in place, I could then mark where the the holes the holes needed to be on both sides. And then what I then did was cut a smaller piece of angle, which is this piece underneath, 
uh, obviously the, the measurement was from there to there on this one. And all I've done is I've just drilled through and I've pop riveted it in three places um, so that that will basically hold now. Obviously that's going to bolt in sort of there like that. And, what that. and this piece at the bottom there needs to be flush with the glass so when the glass is closed as it is now um, it'll be it'll be um, sort of flush with the glass. So I've just reached inside and opened the window so it'll open away from that. So on the outside you need a piece which is kind of this side of the glass. Um, and then at the bottom, obviously the bottom one's going to open this way, so I need a piece on the inside. So that's the top piece, um, and then all I'm going to do to finish this off is put a triangular piece of glass um, in there, which I'll show you in a moment. So what, what I'm first going to do is bolt this in place, and then I'm going to put some sticky um, foam around the edge, around there and down there and down this bit here. Um, I might even put some across the bottom as well just to seal it in there and then just by putting a piece of glass in which I've already cut um, I'll just put a couple of clips on this side, a couple of clips on this side here and here and then that'll be the top part finished and then we just need to move on to the bottom so what I'll do now is just very quickly go inside the greenhouse and show what that looks like from the inside so that's the piece that I'm about to put in there and as you can see it's basically flat on this side and so the glass shuts against it and obviously as I open it the glass will come away from it but when it's shut like that it obviously makes a seal against there then obviously I'll get no draft. What you can do is if you've got a bit of a space um, hardware shops will sell kind of draft excluder foam or, or it's, it's like a bit of a brush. Um, which is like sticky back and you can stick some um, along the edge. If you can't get it as flush as I have, I mean that's literally touching the glass, um, you can get some stuff that you can stick along there but it's important that you try to minimise the amount of draught so in the winter when you're growing stuff in the greenhouse obviously you keep it as warm as you possibly can do. So <clears throat> what I'm going to do now is basically just put two bolts through uh, one through that hole there, one through that hole there, just to hold it in. Obviously what you need to do is put the bolt in from the outside in and put the nut on the inside, otherwise it'll fail the glass. So I'll just bolt that in and I'll explain what I'm going to do with this bottom part here. Okay, so that's that's that bolted in here and here, so that's all nice and um, you know sort of firm there. Again, I would recommend you use new bolts um, on this because this is going to help support the roof. So this I would class as a structural member because what it's going to do is going to stop the roof from sort of moving out. So this is going to, you know, sort of stop it from scissoring down. So this is actually going to be like a sort of support as soon as the weight of the glass is in. So that's all nicely bolted in with new bolts. Obviously, when you're, um, you know, when you when you sort of bolt it in, what you need to make sure of is you don't snag the glass. Obviously, you've now got glass in the frame, and it's very easy to um, snag the, um, the glass with the, uh, with the spanner as you point it in. So obviously be really careful not to, you know, as you're turning the bolt around, not to snag the glass, because obviously that will break it because you're pressuring it. But as you can see, there's no gap in there. Um, and obviously, you know, the window will um, open nicely and shut against that. And there's no sort of gap in there, which is obviously going to cause a draft. So I'll just explain from the outside now. Um, and when you're doing this kind of thing, you might need to go in and out, in and out of the greenhouse. So just going back to where we were, um, as you can see now, the top part is now closed off, which is where the mechanism for the window is. It's closed off both sides. So now I'm not going to get any bugs or insects going down in there or any, any dirt or anything like that, rain, which is going to cause the mechanism to sort of, you know, sort of break down in time. So that's going to be nice and robust and, uh, you know, it's not going to cause any problems. Right, so that's the top part. All I need to do now is put a piece of glass in there. I'll show you that in a few moments. So the bottom bit... <coughs> to get the stool out of the way. Um, the bottom bit is, is a similar thing but kind of back to front to what we've just done at the top. So what I've done is I've just cut um, a couple of pieces of couple of pieces of aluminium and I'll show you what I've done. So one goes on the inside, one goes on the outside. So we don't need that one yet. Right, so this one, as you can see I've cut that form at the top like that so it's a bit longer on that side than it is on there. It's still a bit rough where I've cut it. Um, but basically what this does is it fits in, again, don't forget you need to close off the mechanism at the bottom as well, as best you can, so that you don't get any kind of dirt or, or insects or anything up in there. So that fits in nice and snug, um, really snug in fact, there you go. So that fits inside the frame, and that's going to be bolted, um, not, not pop riveted. The reason being is if I ever need to take the screen out apart, uh, what I don't want to do is, is do anything to it now which is going to cause 
problems later if I need to move it. So that's going to be bolted in, so of course if I need to remove it I can just undo the bolts and take it out. So I'm going to just put one bolt in there, one bolt in there, I've got to drill the holes yet. But what, all I'm going to do is put the two pieces together, I don't know if you can see down, let me just open it. Okay, so that's basically going to be flush like that all the way across. So what I'm going to do is just hold that in place. Some, with some mould grips I'm just going to hold the two pieces together and then about two inches in at this side drill a hole through. Again on this side about two inches in drill a hole through. And then I'm just going to put a bolt um, from this side to the other side. Obviously the bolt head needs to be on this side so it doesn't um, you know, sort of catch the glass or get in the way of the glass. So I've just put that back in place so you can see. You need to make these pieces as tight as you possibly can do. Um, so it, you know it fits in the, the framework quite nicely like that, um, like that, and then so that will fit in nice and tight there. Obviously, it's closing off the bottom of the mechanism here, so so no dirt or muck can get inside there, and it's also going to protect the glass below and stop any kind of drafts and like going through to the greener. So that'll be bolted in a moment. So that's the outside. All right, I'll just explain what I'm going to do on the inside now. Okay, so looking at it from the the inside, obviously this piece I've just shown you. That's going to be going on the, the outside. I'll see if I can just get this in place now so you can see what it looks like on the inside. Like that. Um, as I say, try and keep it as tight as you possibly can. So it's going to look like that. Um, and obviously I'm just going to put two bolts through as I've explained. One there and one there. So that's, that's going to sit in there. Um, just get that out of the way. So on the inside what I need to do is, is fill this gap if you like. Uh, which is going to be between the, the surface that's going to be there and the piece of glass. And all this is is just a another piece of um, um, aluminium. Obviously don't use any other metal than aluminium on, on, on here if you can really help it. Because if you put a, two different metals together one will start corroding. Um, but anyway, um, not to go into too much detail on that. So basically all I've done is I've cut this piece of aluminium so it goes between that part of the frame like that and then this side here so it's nice and tight. Um, because this is going to basically come away with this, I'm going to attach it to this piece here, um, this is all bolted in so I can attach this with just some um, pop rivets. Now I don't need to worry about the underneath because no glass is going to go here, the glass is on the other side, so all I need to do is just drill through one in the middle and then one kind of two inches from that side, one from two inches on that side um, and then just pop rivet that in so basically shut the window so you know that it's shut and then push that hard up against the glass um, so you know there's no gap between this, this piece and the glass and then just pop rivet in there in the middle and at the end and then that'll hold that in then obviously as the window opens like this it'll open away from it and then when it shuts in like that it'll make a nice seal against that it'll stop any draft so what I'm going to do now is um, I'll just get the drill and I'll quickly show you me drilling the holes through here and then just pop rivet it in just one quick note um, aluminium strip like this is quite easy to cut you can cut it with either an angle grinder or an um, axe or anything like that you know it's, it, it's quite easy to cut it's not difficult um, but, but what I would recommend you do is you know before you cut it mark it up exactly where you need it and then cut the pieces so that they fit perfectly in to the, the framework because what you don't want is gaps everywhere because that's when you get insects and rodents coming into the greenhouse and that so obviously um, you know, cut it nice and tight and then you're going to minimise the amount of draft coming into the greenhouse and keep the greenhouse nice and warm in the winter. So, I'll go and get the drill and I'll show you this. Okay, so to give you an idea of how to do this, basically what I've done is I've measured in, I've actually measured 3 inches from that bolt in, 3 inches from that bolt in, I've also measured 12 mil down on both sides. Um, so I know basically where the hole needs to go. And all I'm going to do now is put the piece of um, aluminium in, in place and then with um, a couple of pairs of uh, mould grips. Now these things are invaluable when you do anything like this because what you can do is you can hold your piece of work in place um, you know without having to uh, you know sort of worry about it too much and you can basically drill away and get everything sorted out. So let me just uh, let me just get this in place on the outside. Right okay so that's now in place so if I just take this piece out of the way Okay, so if I just open the window now, what I want to do is make sure that that's all level here. Uh, if that's level, then the, the, the bottom of the mechanism there is going to be kind of sealed in. So what I'm going to do is just hold that in place, like that. And then with the mould grips, I'm just going to go underneath. Just to tighten that slightly. Like that, and then just, just clamp them two together. Now the two pieces are clamped together there. With another pair of mould grips, these are exactly the same, they're just slightly bigger. 
I'm just going to go on this side, push it up into place like that and then just clamp that off like that. Right, so I know that that's not quite level here. Right, okay, so I know that that's na nice and level, just run my finger across the top there and I can feel that that's all, all right. Now, the two holes, as I've said before, always use the right size drill. Nice sharp drill, um, and this is exactly the same diameter as the um, as the bolt. I think it's six or seven mil, something like that. I'm not quite sure. But all you need to do then is just just drill through on this side. Nice and gentle. Now I know that the hole's exactly in the right place. Obviously, this is all lining up. Um, so I know when I put the bolt through there, which I can do now, um, that that's all going to be nice and lined up. I just need to do the same on this side. Just quickly do this. Right, so I've now got a hole on both sides. Again, I'm just going to put a couple of bolts through. No. These are um, aluminium bolts again, in exactly the same way as I explained to you, you know, when, you, when you're when putting pieces of metal on to modify greenhouse, always use aluminium, most certainly if you can. Um, in exactly the same way, always try to use um, aluminium bolts as well, because, again, you're going to have those two different metals together, and that will cause the aluminium frame to basically um, corrode. And before you know where you are, and this happens really quickly, you know, within a couple of years, the, the aluminium will be basically turning to dust, which is basically aluminium oxide. Um, and then before you know, obviously the frame's not going to be able to support the glass and then you potentially got a dangerous situation. So, to avoid that, always use aluminium bolts. Don't over torque them, you just need to get them in place like that. Nice and tight, so you know everything's in the right place. Now, because I've drilled exactly the right size hole, it's in exactly the right place, I know that when I take these mould grips off, that piece of aluminium is going to stay in exactly the same place because there's no give in it at all and that's going to be perfect. So if I ever need to um, take the greenhouse apart, all I've got to do is undo those two bolts and all that will come away and then I'll be able to take the greenhouse apart. So the next bit, we don't need the mould grips. Um, so the next bit is basically to put on the, um, the piece of aluminium which is going to fit in, fit into kind of there. Now all I've done exactly the same way is I've marked on there in the middle and there two inches in and I've marked um, the hole there two inches in uh, sorry in the middle and then 12 mil down I've, I've marked there and exactly the same thing there so that's going to fit in there like that so what I'm going to just quickly do is shut the shut the glass um, I'm just going to stop the camera for a second whilst I change the drill over um, and then I'll explain um, about pot, pot pivoting this in. Okay, so moving on to uh, this next bit now. Just so I can explain, um, just just very quickly before I put this on, what you need to make sure of is that the the, the framework um, fits tightly together. Yeah, but what you don't want, so you don't want any movement until when it's in place. But what you don't want to do is make it slightly too long, so that when you pull it in, you're stressing the uh, the framework. So that, that's quite important to, to know. What you don't want to do is sort of stress anything. So what I've done on this again is I've just cut a, um, a slight amount off that edge there and that edge there for that same uh, for that exact reason. So that sits in there without stressing anything. And obviously I've marked the holes as I've already explained. All I need to do now is with the window shut, make sure the window's shut properly. Uh, what you want to do is make sure that that's in exactly the right place because as soon as you've drilled this, it's going to be there for good. So all I'm going to do is just push it gently against the glass and then put the mould grip in there, exactly like I did the last piece, like that, and then on this side as well, like that, so just loosen that off slightly. Right, so what you want to do now because this is the glass bit and I didn't really show you this at the top. What you need to do now is make sure that the window opens and shuts 
and, and nothing snagging or anything like that. As soon as you've done that, you know it's in the right place. You know, there's no gaps here, um, and you know it's nice and tight in there. Look at both ends, make sure it's in the right position. As soon as you know that, you can drill the holes. So, a pop rivet. What a pop rivet is, um, if you've not seen one before, is a, uh, a little thing like that. Okay, and what you do is you uh, you have a gun like this. Now I bought this gun um, a few years ago now, probably about 20 odd years ago, and um, I've got to be honest with you. I think I paid probably about five pound for it. It was an expensive one, and it's lasted me for obviously 20 years or more. So basically, all you do is with 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 the gun. There's 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 various size things on there, but I've only ever used this one to be honest with you. All you do is you put the put, put the pop rivet into that hole there, and then as you squeeze this, it pulls that pin down and it basically makes it expand. So if it's in a hole, it'll basically expand inside the hole and it'll um, you know squeeze the two things together. Because this aluminium is reasonably thick, if you if you look at that, it, it should be just about long enough. You can get different sized ones. Uh, you know you can get um, sort of slightly slightly bigger ones like that or. You can get ones that are even longer, like that, um, or you can get some really big ones, depending on what you what you're putting together. Obviously, you know you can get some as a corner like that as well, which are obviously really big. But I'm going to just going to be using these ones. Um, these should be more than more than big enough for what I need. So I'll just quickly um, drill the holes, and then I'll be able to put the pop rivets in. So I've got three pop rivets ready, and all you do, as I say, you know, you just put it in, put it in the gun like that, and then by squeezing that it'll make that expand and it'll pull whatever together. So as soon as you've got all that ready you can drill the holes. Um, now obviously you need to be careful obviously you're near glass again so get the hole as sort of vertical as you possibly can do but obviously because I've got this glass here I'm really close with the drill so I need to be really careful with this. So that's the hole all the way through. Now, what I recommend you do is put the pop rivet into the hole like this. Now, what you might need to do is open the window at this point so you're not sort of too close to the glass. And then take a look underneath and make sure that it's coming out of the bottom. You want at least three or four mil of it coming out of the bottom. And then just note that this is going to jump when it's, um, obviously it's called a pop rivet for good reason. So all you need to do then is just squeeze them two together, like that, and then that's it in place. So I can now take that off, and that's not going to move, that's all nicely riveted in place. So all I need to do now is repeat that again in the middle and at this end, and then that's that piece there for good. Obviously, uh, you know, if you do get it wrong, you can drill through these and drill them out, but obviously I'd, I'd, I'd advise you avoid doing that. Um, but if I need to take this apart, obviously when I unbolt this strip here, this will all come out and I'll be able to dismantle the greenhouse that way. So that's how to put a pop rivet in. I'm just going to do these last two, then I'll show you what the, the completed window looks like. Okay, so I'll just show you from this angle. So that's it bolted in, uh, sorry, pop riveted in. And as you can see, there's no gap along the bottom. The one thing that, if you haven't got any mould grips, what you need to make sure is when you when you um, put the pop rivet in, that the two pieces are absolutely perfectly together. If they are apart, if there's some gap in here, when you rivet it, they will stay apart. So you need to make sure that they're actually, you know, perfectly together when you rivet it, and then that'll stay in place. So that's now nice and firm in place. And obviously we've got the two bolts um, running through from the inside out. So that's all, that's all nicely finished. So if you open the window, as you can see, you know, there's a nice gap there, that's nice and firm in there. And then as soon as we shut it, that'll do, that's the glass shutting hard against the frame. So I'll just quickly show you that outside. So you can see what it looks like. So as you can see from the outside, what we've got then is this aluminium strip along the bottom of the glass. So obviously as the rain comes down, it'll run off there onto this and then obviously down onto the ground. Nicely sealed against there and obviously there's no gap 
underneath there where draft can get through. So that's all nicely sealed. So that's basically the uh, the louvered window complete. I know that sounds complicated, uh, but these things are reasonably expensive to buy brand new. And I've, I've obviously recycled this one from one that came out of a house. I've cut the glass down so it fits in this hole. I've made the brackets and the top and the bottom bar to make, make sure it's all nicely in and sealed. That's the top from the outside there. Um, bottom from the outside so that's all nicely sealed so that's now complete um, uh, window in there so all I need to do now to complete this kind of strip in the greenhouse is I need to put some sticky on here and put the triangular piece of glass in there and then all I need to do then is put this bottom glass in here then that's that part finished so I hope this episode was of some use to you please don't hesitate to put any comments or questions you've got below and I'll always get back to you and I'll see you on the next episode of Jim's Lama Garden